Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Nico here with our Brown Farmhouse, AKA the Brown Family Farm. As you can see, the swings are back as they should be. The pumpkins are back as they should be. How's it going, buddy? Back outside. What else we have? We have mama's pillows and signs. Last video, someone said, hey, y'all should get some orange pillows. Well, as y'all can see, mama wasted no time. Thank you for that suggestion. We have my gnome. It's football season, y'all. Let's go Longhorns, hook them. Here with another video for y'all and just have a couple of projects that I wanna knock out today. And then we'll catch up with mama and see what she's got going. But let's go ahead and let's fast forward to the shop and let me show you what we got going today. All right, everybody, check it out. This is Thursday evening. It's about 5 p.m. And we've been placing a lot of the items we took down back where they go. Like, if you remember from the previous video, that birdhouse right there we took down and put back up. So we're just starting our cleanup. Um, so just finishing up putting back the decor that we had just put up in a lot of places and didn't want to bore you through watching us put that up again. So we just put it back up. But today, there's some more items that came in actually like a week ago, about a week, week and a half ago, that because we knew the hurricane was coming, we decided let's just wait until we put those up. And I'm very excited to get these in. So let me show you what we got. As you can see right here, we have two packages. So let's open up the first one. All right, everybody. So for the first package, this is one I've been very excited about and I'm so glad that it has arrived. And let me show you what it is. And bam, <laughs> who's that look like y'all? That's right, our guy Thor, the Great Pyrenees. So if you recall on Zeus's house, he has a sign. We bought one for Thor's house as well. Let's go ahead and open the second package. So here's another one that we thought would be very important. We ordered one, two, three, four, five signs, but I'm just gonna take one out for now to show you. Pulling out one of the signs and look at that. That's a great sign, right? Now nah, I'm just playing. Let me rotate it for you. And there we go. So we have these signs that we can hang around the pastures that Thor's in. Right now he's in the back pasture, right? So we order some extras because we're sure the weather will beat these up over time. But what do you think about that? Livestock guardians at work may include barking with pictures of Great Pyrenees, chasing predators, two and four legged at any hours of the day, right? So out of all the signs that we saw on Etsy, and of course we could have made a custom sign, we felt that this was the nicest one. There's some that had just a little bit too much sarcasm for even me. And some were just straight up rude, like, you know, just talking about guns and what, what the owners would do to you or what the dogs would do to you. I think one uh, sign was pretty cool, but it said, don't be a, um, don't be a donkey, <laughs> right? So, eh. We, our neighbors are nice, and these signs we're putting up on our pasture aren't going to be for our neighbors. They're, they're going to be for the very few instances where we have people back here. It could be the power company. It could be some other vendor. And, you know, we're just not that, not those kind of people. So we think this will work. Now, one thing I will say is y'all know me better than this. Y'all know me better than this. I ordered these signs in white and black. The sign itself, the part that's yellow was supposed to be white, and then just like it is right now, the font and graphics were supposed to be black. <sighs> part of me wanted to send it back to the uh, Etsy uh, store, but 
I mean, we'll, we'll see how yellow goes. It is bright, it will be alarming, and that's what we want, so. We'll be placing these signs today. Now something else is, I wish I would have done this with Zeus's sign, but I thought to myself, yes, I can put it on there, right? But what if I could get two signs out of this? So what I'm gonna do is tape this down to this wood board and I'm gonna burn it with the burner to see if I could use this like a stencil to create another sign so I could have one on the front of his house, one on the back of his house. A two for one deal, if you will. But first thing first, I need to paint this one white. All right, y'all, so I have some extra exterior white paint here. It's already been nice and mixed up, as you can see there. So I'm gonna use this in order to paint my wood block there. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit more on that. And let's get to painting. Now I'm only gonna paint the top and the sides. The back that's gonna be facing the inside of Thor's house that you won't see, I'm gonna burn. So no method to the madness here. So just gonna go ahead and lather it on. All right, y'all, first coat in the book. While that is drying, let's go ahead and get our buy one, get one burn on that sign going. Use that sign like a stencil. We'll knock that out, then come over here, throw in a second coat, and we'll get to hanging these bad boys. Also on this stencil right here, just gonna keep a nice rustic brown look, and just gonna burn over top of it, and hopefully not mess up the uh, sign itself, but it's only one way to find out. So let me get my burner, and we'll give it a go. See if we could just get another Thor sign out of this. Trying to be quick, because I have noticed that if I sit in one spot too long, some of the metal does start to bubble. It is too much for me. You got me on my knees. I know I should just walk away, but your hold on me won't give. What's your name? Sahara. Yeah, and what's that in your hand? Unicorn. Oh, wow. I thought you had two unicorns. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so, she, has some, she has wings. Yeah, she has wings, so that means she could fly? Mm -hmm. That's cool. All right, y'all, it's the moment of truth. If you see behind me, we have a, a storm coming in, so hopefully this worked the first time. I'm not gonna edit this out now, y'all. So if this didn't work, then y'all will see my failure. So let's go ahead and move this out the way. Uh, I mean, it's not 100% clear, but all things considered, like see the eyes, I think I could get away with this, y'all. I think I could get away with this. It was free. <laughs> Can't beat that. But regardless, that's okay because the actual sign will look good on its white backdrop. So let's get that going. 
All right, everybody, here's the final product. I like this one because it's kind of like, um, you know that like chameleon paint that changes with the sun? I like this because the different angles you look at it from, you can make out what it is. So I think that's actually gonna look cool on the house. Scrap piece of wood, it's free. Now this one, I am gonna come back and I had gray screws, so I'm gonna use a black Sharpie to just color those in. But this one I really like, look at that. Nice and clear, beautiful. All right, let me go grab Mama and we'll get these things hung. All right, y'all, Mama's coming. So I'm gonna set this camera up so she doesn't know it's recording and hopefully we could capture her facial expression because that's gonna let us know whether or not she likes it. I'm gonna make it seem like I'm not recording. I haven't recorded yet. I just wanted to see how it came out before I record it. I think it looks good. Fort is free. It's a scrap piece of wood. And I kind of feel like it's chameleon. The different angles you look at it from, you can make out what it is. You know, yeah. it's free. What do you think? How'd you do it? With the torture. So when you, when you put her down, did you like... Hold it in place? Yeah. It didn't move, didn't wiggle, nothing. Yeah. See the eyes? I see it. Hmm. It's worth using. That's going on the back. That's going on the front. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I thought you was going to be like, yeah, yeah, wow. Oh, Nico, what'd you do? He has mm, Should have known you would say that, actually. Look who I have, y'all. As you can see, our collection of pools. <laughs> That's Leroy's pool, Boring. Zeus's pool, and those were Esther's pool. So what mom and I bought from Dollar General. These or this? Uh, oh, Dollar General. Yeah, we bought those from Dollar, that from Dollar General in order to create the holes in the corners that we can use to zip tie it to the fence. So mom is hole punching them really quick. And y'all may be able to hear that thunder in the back because it's on the way. So we're gonna hurry up and try to get this done so we don't get caught out there in it. Hmm. So I'm only putting up two signs. I ordered five, but like I said earlier, I ordered some extras. So we'll get these hole punched and we'll see y'all in the pasture. All right, y'all, I'm just using zip ties. So if I ever need or want to take this off, it's just on there with a zip tie and he's biting my shoe, my ankles. He's biting everything. <laughs> All right, y'all. Woo. It's a balancing act. You want to show that, mama? It's level. It is. Y'all see that bubble? <laughs> so that's level. So we just need two more. It's a puppy. He's by there. Off, no. Thor. No biting. <laughs> Thunder. All right, this worked out perfectly, y'all. So next we'll uh, cut off the excess because y'all know we don't get down like that. Bam. Okay. Snip. Snip. Snip and snip. All right, mama. How's that look? It looks good. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot, actually. Huh. It's cute. Yeah. All right, y'all. So this one I went on the back, right in the middle. So I pre-drilled these holes and I know that this is the middle, but I know this board is even as well. So I'm gonna go ahead. Just like that like ludicrous get it just like that when i, when I move, move. Uh, yeah there we go oh all right i thought mama's about to have me out there on the island y'all 
we uh joke with each other a lot because we we only have a four-year age different but sometimes i bring up stuff and she has no idea what i'm talking about no it's idea. only a four-year difference hey that's not nice <laughs> all right y'all can see i have a puppy biting all over me <laughs> teething but yeah different angles yo that oh <laughs> he's literally biting look oh ah off the door. oh my god with those little shark teeth mm -mm. Mm -mm. off good job all right so y'all see how this angle you can see a little bit more and then we'll just work our way around it and this angle you can see a little bit less right yeah. i like it i right like it you see a bit more. i like it and y'all already heard mama earlier she said it adds character you recording when i said that oh yeah 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 she, yeah <laughs> i told him that you didn't know i was recording either <laughs> <laughs> That's all right y'all we have to beat this rain so on to the next signs and look at uh zeus there we see you buddy you're watching you're watching him bite us off off hey there you go thor go. all right y'all this was another hobby lobby pickup we have these license plate i guess you would call them a license plate sign yeah with different letters and they were what a whopping Piece. Plus they were on sale though, right? No, they weren't. Oh, no sale? <laughs> Drats. <laughs> I like it. What do y'all think, guys? Super cute. And I think Butterscotch liked it. Yeah, I think she did. Look at her. And y'all, we noticed this this morning, but look at that evidence they left. So that shows us they are using this spool. I've already showed these signs and we're putting it in two places in the pasture. One is right here. And as Thor rotates pastures with the girls, he will be uh, we'll be able to move these signs with them because the whole point is to communicate and educate anyone who for whatever reason might think it's a good idea to maybe come up to the fence because he looks like a big fluffy white dog and they want to pet him um, one of our neighbors is well there's only two of them <laughs> our neighbor behind us is selling his home so there's been a lot of showings recently and we just want to make sure yeah. that uh you know, similarly, nobody who's out here viewing a home is like, oh, look, a cute dog. Thor is testing the boundaries of Mr. Tucker. <laughs> Tucker likes to lay in here, y'all, but usually Thor can't see him. <laughs> and it just so happened. Tucker's very patient with him, though. <laughs> He's patient. He wants to play. <laughs> Thor, Tucker doesn't want to play. He doesn't want to play. <laughs> If you recall, we got this uh, Elvis sign, Memphis, Tennessee, from a family member. Miss Eleanor. About three videos ago. So this is another area similar to Frankie's house and hopefully Thor's house that we hope to just fill up with signs. So as we find great signs and things ourselves, or as uh, some of you are nice enough to send, we're just going to start hanging them. So... I'm just gonna use zip ties. And I like this spot right here. 
All right, let's go. Yeah, no. just playing. <laughs> All done. Looks good. Yeah. What do you think, Zeus? Zeus is ready for bed. That's why he's following us. Come, buddy. You ready? Yeah, you ready? You ready? So we were able to find some of this water softener that we desperately needed. Yeah, it's empty. And we have to use the green bag for rusty fence. That's one of the things that we have to filter out of the water. Um, and this does a great job of it. And what's funny about this, y'all, is last year for Hurricane yeah. Ian, when the hurricane hit, we were out, it was empty. And this time for this hurricane, when the hurricane hit, we're out and it's empty. The difference is last year with Hurricane Ian, it took us two, almost three weeks to find more of this water softener. Yeah. And the water got really bad. We're taking like minute showers. Yeah, cause the water got really bad. <laughs> so this is what, the next day? Two days later. Two days later. This is two days later and we were able to find enough. So excited about that. All right, y'all. So mama and I just finished putting back all the decor that we had just put up. So that's all done. We have the signs up on Thor's house. We have the signs there for trespassers or anyone that happens to be that close to our fence for whatever reason. Um, as y'all know, we've had an issue before with someone entering our yard. Yeah. It was a vendor, it was a septic person, but still, Hopefully those signs help protect us and help people make better decisions. All right, mama. So how do you feel about another hurricane in Florida? Um, I mean, I feel grateful. Um, so yeah, when it wasn't as bad as the one that we had last year. So when each of myself and Sahara came out just to kind of look and see if and what damage had been done. Um, fence lines still look really good. We had a little bit of debris on the ground, but nothing crazy. Um, not too far from us, there were some trees that went down, but luckily our road, we're able to get in and out to the main road. So definitely feeling really grateful. As someone that's new to hurricanes, once again, Natalie's from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. So she's been around hurricanes her whole life. But as someone that's new to them, this was only my second or third hurricane. Um, and I think we dodged another bullet. And yeah, y'all, this is the second hurricane in a row that we've had where the path has shifted a day or two before landfall. So being new to Florida, hearing a lot of the urban legends and <laughs> myths and things like that, yeah. a lot of my coworkers and even some of our neighbors have told us about this, um, is it a belief or a myth or it's a myth folklore? It's a like blessed or something. Yeah, that, that the Tampa Bay is blessed due to some Indian burial grounds that are located there, um, not far from the bay. And there is a rich history of like, even back in the day, like back, back in the day, pirates during rough weather would actually choose to come to the bay because they knew it was safe. Um, and if you are a football fan, NFL, you already know that Tampa Bay, their mascot is a pirate, right? A buccaneer. Um, so there's a big belief here. Like a lot of people believe that there's Indian burial grounds in Tampa mm -hmm. that protect it. And that's why all these hurricanes that are headed for Tampa, they just shift. No one knows why the paths just shift. And um, we won't <laughs> complain about that, whether it's true or not. Um, because it spares us, but if it spares us, it, may, it means it went somewhere else. So prayers to everyone in North Florida that took that uh, direct hit in the bend, and then it went up through Georgia, it went up through the Carolina. So yeah, prayers to anyone that was directly impacted. And yeah, Tampa, you know, didn't take a direct hit, and it's been over a hundred years since the last um, hurricane direct hit in uh, Tampa, but um, 
you know, it was a, what is it called? A blue moon? There was a blue moon and of course that affects tides. So that played a little bit of role of the, a uh, little bit, uh, literally a little bit of flooding that Tampa had. But in comparison to what it would have been, psh, nothing. So, you know, we'll, we'll count our blessings there. Yeah, Mama, so what else do we have going on? Well, the other thing is that we're going to be leaving Florida. So Yeah, we spoke about it in our first live that we would be open to relocating to other areas. And I'm a Texas boy. I'd rather deal with tornadoes and hurricanes. So we've decided to leave Florida. And where are we going? Alabama. We're going to Alabama just for the weekend. <laughs> Hopefully we got, a, got a, at least a couple of you. But uh, why are we going to be in Alabama, Mama? Um, so, yeah, we are going to be at Petals from the Past for the Great Fall Garden Festival. Yeah. I'm super excited, one, because we get to hang out with some of our friends that we've made along the way with this journey. But we also get to meet some new people when we, some of you all come down. And we yeah. are going to bring the kids. Um, that'll be eventful, but we're, <laughs> we're yeah. excited. So we have our tent and everything. We're excited to meet everyone. Yeah. Yeah, we have our tent and uh, we're still not sure exactly where we are on the map. But um, if you're there, come by, say hi to us. Uh, we would love to meet you. Um, I would like to think we're approachable. So hopefully you're not standoffish. Um, we are going to have a few things for sale. Nothing too crazy. Just some stickers and T-shirts. Yeah. Um, and y'all Egypt is going to be shy. So oh, yeah. if you get like the awkward, it's not her being mean. I know we said that before, yeah. but I have to reiterate that. Um, yeah. It's just her personality. She's a kid. She, she's, she's shy. She gets shy. Y'all know how kids and get. And SJ's not. SJ is like, ah, she's like me. Yeah. So she's she's going to be the total opposite. But each rose may be a little shy. Yeah, yeah. She clams up a little bit, and then eventually she comes out of her shell. But what else? Yeah, and if you have any food recommendations... We love to try new food places, so put some of those down in the comments um, because we'll drive for some food. So, yeah. Absolutely. All right, y'all. <sighs> Made it through another hurricane. Feeling good. All the decor is back up, so I actually feel great. Yeah. Not and, good. and we have some projects to get done in between now. We have some projects. And pedals, so. So stay tuned. Whew. Hopefully we have the rain some, holds up. Yeah, we have some some great projects coming y'all's way. Um, I think a lot of y'all like that. Of course, we have a lot of animals. We show our animals and we show what we do as a family. But we love to do some DIYs, man. So if you like that, in addition to the family fun content, we think you'll like some of the videos we coming we have coming over the next week or so. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>